Hi everyone, my name is Yi Kang Lu from Shanghai Jiaozong University. I will give a system description for the Chinese Grammatic Error Diagrams CGED Task 2020. This work was done well by the Inter in Alibaba Group with Zhu Yibao, Chen Li, and Ri Wang. And the paper's title is Chinese Grammatic Error Diagrams with Graph Convolution Network and Multitask Learning. First, let's have a look at the CGED task. The input of the task is the wrong Chinese sentence. For example, smoking can many diseases, which absolutely missing a word while the quiet repetition should be smoking can cause many diseases. This is an example of the missing error. There are three other kinds of the error type including spelling error, which means the bad selection, Random, which means extra words, and wrong order, which means a collection error. Our system is combined of three modules, detection module, correction module, and post-processing module. We will introduce them one by one. The first part is the detection module. In the detection module, we treat the task as a sequence numbering, and the baseline model of ours is the birth CIF. We will improve the most performance based on the baseline. We first introduce the bird GCN CIF model. The dependency of the words is an important feature of this task. The following case shows this situation. The difference between the wrong input and the required input is that one word is missing. From the perspective of select dependence tree, it actually means that one node is missing on a certain substrate. Substrate. Therefore, we want to introduce the dependency tree to the baseline model. As bird acts on character level in Chinese, while the dependency tree acts on the word level, we add extra dependency edges for one word to all of character of the word. In particular, the main architecture of the model is shown in the figure. The bird mode acts as a future extractor to obtain the futures of the input sentence. Words use the same input repetition in the network to indicate the dependency relation of the characters. Then, a GCN network uses this future and the adjective matrix of the dependency tree to obtain the dependency information. The representation of the bird and the GCN network are concatenated and then passed to the CRF network to predict text. The second module utilizes not only text but also quite sentence during the training process to do multi-task learning. Therefore, we introduce the six to sequence task. task. In particular, as the figure shows, the bird model is the encoder of the input sentence. On the one hand, this extractive feature are passed on to the CRF network for six sampling tasks for error detection. On the other hand, they are passed to the transformer decoder to map the wrong sentence to the correct sentence. We combine sequence labeling nodes and sequence to sequence nodes by a hyperparameter called W. One possible motivation is that the model can have a bird understanding of the original meaning of the input sentence. With the quite correct sentence, we use the sequence labeling part to predict answers during, during the inference phases. We train more than 100 of the above two models and employ a two-stage voting ensemble machine to input the model's performance. In the first stage, the sentence is regarded as a correct word less than detection models detect errors in the sentence. In the second stage, an edit level voting is applied. If more than theta edit models, added one position. This position is considered wrong. 
In the experiment, we use the grid search to choose the third section and the third ed edit according to the FE score on the validation data. The second module is the correction module. We correct the wrong sentence according to the detection results. We exploit the mask language model and sequence to sequence to generate corrections. In the first method, we insert mask tokens into the sentence and use BERT to generate the correction by replacing mask taken tokens one by one in an aggressive style. In particular, we insert one to four mask tokens to cover most of the cases. In the second method, we generate the candidates by a sync to sequence model trained by mapping the wrong sentence to required sentence. According to the detection results, we keep generating next characters until the correct uh, characters appear. Both approach employ the beam search algorithm to reduce search complexity. The last module is the post-processing module. We introduce a related task called Chinese spelling check, which is used to find the sentence spelling errors. We use two checkers to create the input sentence, rule-based checker and bird based checker. A root based checker is used to use string match to modify common wrong words such as nianqing to nianqing. A bird based checker utilizes extra Chinese spelling checking data to modify the semantic error. We check spelling errors as word selection errors and direct he merged the CSC result into the detection and correction result for our final submissions. Here is our model performance on the validation data. We trained our models by CGED 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 training data and used pairs of the error sentence quite sentence for the sequence to sequence training without extra data and use the CGED 2018 testing dataset as our validation dataset. Specific hyperparameter can be viewed in the paper. In particular, we choose the strap bird large as a bird body. We can see the effectiveness of our purpose most method and the improvement of the model effect after the ensemble according to the FE score. For the final test data, our submission our system approach achieves the second highest FE scores and at identification level and position level by a balanced precision and recall and highest recall rate at the top three correction. Most of the sentences in our training data contain grammar errors and the ensemble mentions in tune based on the FE score on the validation data. This factors hurt the precision and detection level as well as the false positive rate. In this paper, we propose two approaches including birth GCM CRF model and multi-text learning to improve the baseline model to detect grammatic errors. We also designed three approaches including mask language model, signal sequence, and spelling check to correct these errors. We got first place in the recall rate and the top three correction and got the second highest FE scores at the identification level and position level. And that's all of this paper. Thank you for your attention.